Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of 28th of September's Godly Blessing. Now the Supreme Father, the Supreme Creator, the one who has mercy for all the souls, all the beings on this earth, whether the being means the soul itself, whether it's human souls, animal souls, creatures, He has mercy for all of them. And when we lose our contact or our touch with ourselves, the real self, and we lose the contact with the Supreme Self, because we don't recognize who he is, how does he look like, where does he stay, or she stays. That's the time we end up doing certain acts out of anger or greed or jealousy and hatred. And that leads to suffering on this planet Earth. And that is also known as Kali Yuga, or the end of times, or Kayamat Ka Sameh by many religions. So let's see what does God want us to do during these times which are going on presently on this Earth. God says, May you be a master bestower and donate peace to peaceless souls as a world benefactor. How do you do that? Can you go and meet each and every soul? No. For that we need to refine our signals. You see, if your antenna is not connected properly and not directed properly in the case of a radio, if you have ever used it, then you realize that you have to maintain the frequency and you have to direct the antenna in the right direction. Similarly, we souls, we beings also have to direct our thoughts in the right direction. But for that, we have to tweak the thoughts. We have to purify the thoughts, cleanse the thoughts so that its frequency can increase. That means it can reach higher wavelength. It can go for a longer distance and reach out to souls. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. We purify our thoughts to a certain level, to a higher level, so that we can actually reach out to souls who are panicking, who are in distress, who are, who are sad or who are melancholy or who are feeling any kind of problem in their life. So God says, There is upheaval and fighting taking place in the world. At such a time of peacelessness, become master bestowers of peace and donate peace to others. Do not be afraid because you know that whatever happens is good and that whatever is going to happen will be even better. Why? When people are suffering, how can we say something is happening is good? Because it's a karmic account which they are settling down. And now, during the end of days, when the karmic accounts are to be settled, all of us are going to settle our karmic accounts together and that's the time we can return back to our supreme abode or to Godfather's abode or to Allah's place. People will continue to fight under the influence of vices. And that's true because impurities have crept in. It's like a virus which has crept into the soul. And these viruses are actually making each soul unhappy, sad. And when everybody is unhappy and sad, what do they give out to others? They spread unhappiness and sadness. There is That is their duty. Yeah, because they become viceful, they become they got viruses, so they are going to follow that duty because they are programmed like that. That is their duty, but you world benefactor souls have to be constant master bestowers of peace and continue to donate peace. That is your service or our duty. How do you do that? You see, until unless we take it from the Supreme Creator or the Infinite Being or the Infinite Source or the Infinite Energy or the, or the quantum field or the metaphysical force, instead of just thinking that I am going to pray for somebody, it's important to take that energy. But to take that energy, there has to be a lot of purification which needs to be done, which we learn in Brahma Kumaris, purification of the soul. Where the mind and the intellect are seated. So when they are purified, the energy can be absorbed and then can be spread around the world like a ripple across all the oceans and all the mountains. That's the power which you have. How do you do that? That is what you learn in Brahma Kumari. It's for free. It's a spiritual organization. It's not going to teach you how to become a become some kind of a sect follower. It's going to teach you these subtle, subtle thought patterns, purification patterns of the mind and intellect. And which you can apply for yourself, for your family members, for your loved ones and even the world. To heal them, to pacify them. With this, Om Shanti.